David, we're talking about what? Called Farm in the Box, right? Farm in the Barrel. Farm in the Barrel. This is Farm in the Box. That's Farm in the Box. This is Farm in the Barrel. Farm in the Barrel. <laughs> okay. Tell me about it. Well, this is a design that, that I created uh, with the intention of using uh, found materials. And this is a food grade barrel that was discarded that, um, that actually there are two of them. So we took one, dug a hole, put it in the ground so that the other ones could be at a, at a, at a working level. Nice thing about all these systems, everything's at waist high, so you don't have to bend over That's and right. get into the ground. Especially for senior back. citizens, right? Yeah, disabled senior <laughs> yeah. citizens, kids. Right. But um, so what I did basically is we cantilevered these uh, these two beds, these two uh, growing beds on top of the tank. Right. And so we're aerating it. We got a pump in there. Water goes on a timer just like this. It floods the bed and then it drains. All these work on an ebb and flow system which uh, allows for aeration of the beds and which helps with uh, oxygenating uh, uh, the, the, the system so that aerobic bacteria which convert the ammonia from the fish waste into fertilizer for the plants, they thrive. So we set up these systems in, uh, for, with that in mind. The only difference is we're not using fish uh, on this system, we're using human urine. Uh, ah. Yep. And oh my God, David! So I call that peponics or urine. Peponics. Oh boy, you and, should uh, you should you should uh, make a domain for that one. Peponics. We have it. We have it. Peponics. Oh, you do. Org and uh, urineponics. Oh org. my gosh! Because this is, I think, this this is really the future of farming. This is where you have uh, tremendous opportunities in developing countries where they don't have a source. Inner of cities. Fish. Inner cities. If you right. want to get a garden started immediately, right. uh, you don't have to wait for fish to right. grow and get to a certain size. Right. So in this case, human urine is every bit as good as fish urine. In fact, it's better than, than fish urine because it has uh, it has phosphorus in it, which is good for the fruiting plants and the heavy feeders. Um, it's readily available. Yes. Uh, if you're a man, you've got an easy yeah. pass it. You can just yeah. turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. I notice you've got this sort of hidden so people don't see what you're doing back here. Of course, my yeah. neighbors probably know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people don't like to see that. Kind of yeah, thing. right. They don't like to believe. They, don't, they can't really believe it in the first place. They don't really want to see it. Right. But we do. We, we, uh, this, is a, this is my experiment for Haiti and for developing countries that are... Um, uh, that are in need of, of rapid food production, that don't have fertilizers, that don't have enough water, that don't have the means of, uh, of tilling the soil and the, the labor and all that they want to save for other things. Talking about developing countries, you just come back from Cuba, haven't you? That's right. Now, yeah. when you were down there, did you tell them about this? I sure did. I sure did. And they're doing some interesting things in Cuba, albeit their work is uh, typically more labor intensive. Yep. They call it organo, uh, organoponica. Organoponica. Interestingly, it's uh, it's it's ponica is a word is another word for labor, um, but organo is represents the fact that their their method of farming that's that's taken over since the uh, the Russians stopped supplying diesel and fertilizers right. has become a very uh, uh, permaculture style. Yep. Uh, organoponica represents their particular method where everything is in these long rows and raised up with. 12 inch size. Ah, like a raised bed? Like a raised bed. Yep. And they do a lot of, they integrate a lot of things like bacteria and companion plants and carbon. They use a lot of this uh, biochar for their... Uh, Were they interested in peaponics? Uh, peaponics? No, we didn't talk about we that. We didn't talk about peaponics. No, huh? I think my Spanish isn't good enough to yeah. quite well explain <laughs> that. Peaponics, yeah. anybody's satisfaction. But uh, this is, you know, Cuba's a little slow to innovations and they're not connected uh, to the internet. So it's, it, you know, they, they need a little bit more um, uh, of, a, of an education and a demonstration before they're, they're ready to change their whole mindset. They're doing very successfully with, uh, with their, their, uh, their form of organic gardening and, and I applaud that. I think it's pretty fantastic. They've certainly made uh, advances in, uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the uh, molecular biology and the um, and some of the natural companions and in integrating uh, different types of elements to produce uh, efficiently and effectively for their for their their urban uh, population. Let's just talk about this unit here. If this person was to develop this, what would it cost them? Oh, this um, we sell the instructions on their website at Earth Solutions for fifteen dollars. Uh, so wow. you can download the instructions, and we also have the. We have pumps and timers and everything. If you want heaters and you know those, you can add that to it. Even a solar panel. If you want to put this out in the woods and walk away from it and come back to it sometime later. And uh, if you're raising fish in there, 
you know, you can put goldfish in it, and, and in fact, you can even put your, your fish feed on an automatic timer so that, uh, so that everything works on its own. If you want to go out of town and, um, and be gone for a week and come back, this thing will still be functioning fine, and everything will, uh, will flourish with the available uh, nutrients and, and such that you, that you leave it with. Now, also, yeah, that other website we talked about, is that also going to be on there too? Yeah, we'll have uh, information like this and a lot of different designs and, uh, and, and such for at Off the Grid Aquapo um, Off the Grid Ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, Off the Grid Ecosystem. Right, with this, dot com. With, yep, yeah. dot com yeah. and uh, OTG Ecosystem. So, uh, yeah, anything related to, to simplifying it, doing it yourself, going off the grid, whether it's something that we make or something that we just we help to to share information i get my inter information my education from the university of tube uh -huh. uh, you, you're youtube of yeah. course and um and i think it's fantastic what we're going to be doing is is compiling uh pertinent um videos and articles uh relative to um uh everything sustainable in the gardening as Wonderful. well as aquaponics and, and uh, water reclamation. Major too. reference area that people can come to and learn more about it, right? That's right. Great, David. That's right. And by all means, you know, go to his new website and also you can go to our website, uh, operationsavethegulf.com, and we will then refer you back to David. I'm Hugh Simpson for Elite VIP Services.